lot of the principles of my teaching philosophy are similar in a blended environment, face-to-face, -face, or a totally online environment, but there are definitely some differences in delivery. So regardless of how you're teaching, you have to know your content. And I don't necessarily think that you have to be the expert, but you have to know enough to facilitate students in their learning. So the first is content knowledge. The second is pedagogical knowledge. And in online learning, I think that there are exceptional cases or in blended environments where you have to help students with their motivation. And that looks very different than in a face-to-face -face environment. So I think I abide by the self-determination theory where you give students autonomy, competence, and opportunities for belongingness. So giving them choice in terms of autonomy um, in assignments, I think helps them with more engagement. And so that can be choice whether in its assignments or in readings or how they want to um, express their knowledge. And I think that's easier in a blended environment. And um, providing opportunities for relatedness or belongingness. So um, allowing students to build community is really critical in a blended environment. It's critical in all environments, but really in a blended environment or an online environment so that students don't feel isolated. And then lastly, you have to have technology knowledge to teach in a blended environment. So that's a little bit different. Again, you can get away with it a little bit more in a face-to-face -face environment if you don't know as much. But when you're in a blended environment, to be effective, in my opinion, you really have to use the technology tool. So, And going outside even of the um, platform that various universities might use, so whether it's Canvas or WebCT or Blackboard or whatever, those provide great tools. But I think we have to even move beyond that. So really, it's kind of a TPAC model. So technolo technological knowledge, um, pedagogical knowledge, and content knowledge, all in how they intersect. I also think that in um, a blended environment, the principles of universal design for learning really apply. So allowing for multiple means of representation, so you can present materials through text, through videos, through podcasts, uh, through images, through discussions, through video conferencing. Um, and that, to me, is almost a richer environment. And you might reach more students than in a face-to-face -face environment. Similarly, multiple means of expression, so allowing students to express their knowledge. Traditionally, we ask students to write or to give an oral presentation. But they often don't have the opportunity to create a video or um, create a podcast or compose something. Maybe it's an image that represents their knowledge. And then providing different opportunities for engagement. And again, maybe that's giving them choice to engage in a discussion board or a video chat or creating an image that represents what they learned from the readings. Um, and again, that provides more autonomy for students. I also think that blended learning uh, allows for a more participatory culture and class. Uh, so I definitely believe in the social construction of knowledge and that most of learning is social. And it's much easier to create a social um, environment online, in my opinion, uh, than it is in a face-to-face -face class, partly because you don't have the restrictions of time. You don't have this two-hour time limit where you come in, you teach in that time, your students are engaged, um, and then they leave. Rather, it's 24-7. Um, sometimes they see each other face-to-face, -face, sometimes it's online, and I think that both environments provide more social learning.